Welcome back to another video, and today I want to be as close as possible because the last video I made about how, I'm trying to think how to explain this. Well, point one, I was very tired and the video did not go very well in my opinion. So I made a lot of uh, photo slides, uh, text, a script, and then part one of that script was done, ran out of room on Instagram, had to make a second part, and here we are today. Now reading that, and hopefully I can get better points off rather than the previous video. Uh, the word rather should not have been used, uh, whatever. Photo 1. So people only write me a positive comment when they feel I need it. To me, that is so fake. When and only when they do it like a one-off, maybe two-off, but they never communicate with me further. So you say, G good job, but I never hear from you ever again. To me, that is fake. Because, as I said in the previous video, maybe... The bigger YouTubers the, who have people commenting the same comment more than once because they are given their appreciation more than once to this YouTuber. Comparing myself to a bigger YouTube, what do I see? One, more comments. Two, more feedback. From people probably more often than a one time only. Three, they probably get lots of messages and they are thanking this person for more than more than once, meaning they have a hundred people saying thanks to this person. Was I only get comments once a year, if that, because the last time I saw anything was like three months ago. But again, that was from, well, since I'm going off with different people, and this is actually on Discord, so one person wrote one thing back in January, and then... I never heard from them since until, like, yesterday. And this other person wrote me back in 2019, but all communication was dropped because I hurt him with whatever. So we were communicating up until that point, he just leaves. So I get that a lot as well. So it goes back to saying, do these people only write me when they feel I need to? And if so, that goes back to the, the being fake meme of people only come to you when they need something, therefore this person is fake. Makes me wonder, and that's the, the point I was trying to make the other day, but completely, it didn't stick, it didn't hit. Continuing, I guess I am different because I rather heal comments all the time, be it feedback, criticism, your thoughts or just an emote, but 
you're telling me people only reached out to me when they feel I need it. That is,、uh, to be honest, fake and a little sad. But again, it just goes back to so you only come to me when you need something or you feel I need something. Therefore, it's it's kind of fake. But that's just how I see it because I've dealt with a lot of fakes in the past. Yes, I want comments all the time, video suggestions, brainstorming ideas, creating conversations, feedback, suggestions, ideas, and all that good stuff. But I guess that only goes. To people you know and not your fan base, but it goes to I am comparing myself to a person who has three million subscribers. Therefore, they get more people who comment to them, giving them suggestions on new videos. But for me, I only have three subscribers. See the difference, and that's kind of the thing. I, I am noticing the huge gap. I only have three people who I talk with, but the the people who were giving me ideas for new videos, they left because I hurt them by saying something that offended them because I don't know. It just happened. I. Did nothing wrong. It was their decision to leave. I know I hurt them because I disappointed them. I let them down. They wanted something that I could not be. They wanted something I could not give. Therefore, that is why I hurt them. Did I do anything wrong? No. It's them, not me. So that is photo one conclusion. Photo two. Do know I am comparing myself to big YouTube accounts who have three million subscribers, and they have. Gotten hundreds of comments on every single video they upload, and then this thought enters my head. I wonder if the community does the same thing this guy wrote to me about. Um. About how. Uh, people. Well, I did get this one comment a、um, month ago, but I kind of forgot about it. They said they encouraged me to continue my work, but they never wrote back to me. Then I got to thinking, okay, so you're telling me you only wrote that because you felt I needed it, therefore you're being fake of. You only came to me because I needed it. You came to me because you wanted something type of thing, a continuing. They'll command the the big YouTube people. Their community is probably full of fake people as well, but the big YouTube people have more comments than I do. Therefore, they get more support and love all the time. Go to to conclusion. <clears throat> Photo three. 
Sorry to say all this came from being alone with having only few people who I consider my friends, even though I rarely talk to them. I'm more interested in social gatherings, throwing parties, and having a blast. That sort of thing. Oh, I forgot. I'm invisible to you and you only come to me when you feel like it. Oh, so very fake. Yes, I'm tired of having no one to really talk to. I'm tired of talking at my PC screen, making videos, then to talk with people. So I kind of just stopped it after, yeah. Uh, meaning I talk at my PC making videos, but I am not talking with people. By that, I literally mean uh, during conversations, it can either bring me new ideas to make new videos or to literally record what I am saying to you in that moment, which has happened before, but this person did leave, so no more brainstorming type of content, uh, in the moment type of content. Currently, I have been fighting the loss of passion due to being alone with only few people watching and enjoying my content. I know I need to let this go, stop caring, stop wanting to have 100 people wanting my content, stick to the three people who do care. I am sorry, but this is my struggle and I cannot heal this shadow work. It's been a real struggle. And well, uh, Oh. Okay. Here's the... The struggle is real. I have been going through this ever since I started to want views on what I produce, be it on social media, YouTube, or whatever. The struggle to find friends has always haunted me. Why? I am an outcast. I am different than the rest never belonged, never fit in. Unique and different. All signs of being an old soul and a star seed. <clears throat> Finding real friends is hard. For me, people always came and went, but that is also because I was going into the left path and then I left. During that transition, I was leaving people. They were leaving me. I was going into the path of light. They continued to be 3D. I cut out the toxic people. And people just start, stopped approaching me because of my light. Being on 5D on a level they do not understand, they cannot relate to me, etc. I have three real people. I know I should be satisfied with that, but... I want more. It is no fun talking at your screen making videos if no one is interested in your content. So yes, I want to have more people 
who vibe with me. It is more fun that way when I produce videos and I get a lot of positive feedback back. Therefore, it makes me want to do more. Fans help fuel the creator. Fans help make new videos. Fans show their support. More videos will be made. If you're having no one to watch you, you are going to hit these roadblocks and you're going to question, am I doing the right thing? What could I do to improve? Someone help me. Someone push me in the direction I need to go, but no one is there. So you're hitting a wall. You're constantly hitting that wall. I've broken through multiple times. The cycle continues. I did warn you that this would happen again, and here we are. <coughs> Guess I'm the odd one here who feels the way I do. During writing this post, I saw 1111 right as I was going to say, reach me on Instagram, YouTube, Discord, or email. And that's a duplicate. I would enjoy it if you wrote to me. Start a conversation. Tell me anything. And that's the same. Okay. And that is end of part one. Then I went back to it and added on. Part two begins. I feel like I am bothering people, so I let them message me on their own. One time, I did message a guy on my own. What happened? He got mad and said I woke him up, so I never bother people ever again. He also was the person who added me to his guild, but I was sick at that time. I told him this, but he didn't care. He only messaged me in the game, not on Twitter where I found him, and also not in his Discord server. So what happened? He was fake, and he kicked me out of everything, but still followed me on Twitter for whatever reason, but removed me from his guild and his Discord server. All because I was not talking to him out inside the game. I was too sick, I couldn't really function at that time, and... He, yeah, fake. He could have messaged me outside of the game, but every time I did try, I would wake him up and bad things happened. So, yeah. The second person I was talking to hated, he hated to read and wanted to voice chat all the time. This was back when I was using Skype. However, I stopped using Skype, went to Discord, but then I kinda like never used Discord because at that time, this was before I had my Discord server for my YouTube, and therefore I only had like one person on Discord. Here I was PM, talk, uh, text in two, not voice. So this guy uh, wanted me to be on call every day, 24 hours a day. Uh, me, I was like, well, I have nothing better to do, uh, so let's uh, do that. 
But it grew on my nerves because one, he lied to me about being spiritual, wanting me to teach him, and that finally came out. And he was like, "You know what? Not for me." And I'm like, "So you were fake with me, and you lied to me." And after that, I never. Got in contact with him ever again, but also because he hates to read, he doesn't want to type, he doesn't want to read. He rather listen and voice and on the voice call and then respond with voice back. But at at that time, I I like my conversations private, therefore I prefer to type than to voice. The other thing he did was that I didn't really like was we didn't really play the same video games. Therefore, he wanted me to join his. I I did because I wanted to try it out to see if it was if I was into it. Turns out not that much. It was、uh, we were playing Aura Kingdom a lot.、Uh, It was okay for a while, but it's really not my style of game.、Uh, the only other game he kept talking about, which I really didn't like, was I don't even know the title. All I know is the game involves you play a car and you play soccer ball with the car. Yeah, I'm I'm not into that and. He kept、uh, showing me what he was playing, and he played that a lot.、Um, but again, not my not my game.、Uh, he also kept every time I would mention Warcraft, he would tell me why he quit, and I'm like, broken record. I know you quit, and not going to go come back to the game, and. Because I was playing a lot of Warcraft back then, and every time I would mention like a, a new update or something, he was like, "Not my thing." But he would want me to play Aura Kingdom and a lot back then.、Uh, we did try to play Digimon Masters together, except,、uh, but then I, I like vanished on him. <laughs> we were we were also on on Second Life a lot with that one game in there, but I mean it was okay. We weren't so there was like three things. There was Second Life, Or Kingdom, Dizzy Mon Masters. And then Terror Horizon, but I loved Terror Horizon because. They changed that game to the point. Well, I don't like it anymore. I can't farm for equipment for my old, for my younger characters. So I'm level、uh, max level. I go into a dungeon for my level twenty to get gear for my level twenty character. Nothing drops, and I'm like, really? You took that out? Hell, even Warcraft never took that out. You can still run old dungeons for gear. Gotta collect your equipment sets. They still allow it, but Terra took that out. They also took out、uh, Transmog. Why I don't know. So they changed that game to the point. Well, I don't like it. I dropped it. I was playing Warcraft more. Then I kind of just left that game for Ark. I play nothing but Ark right now. But、uh, basically, we were not on the same page. We did not play the same game.、Uh, in hindsight, it it's I was not vibing with him. He was not vibing with me. Therefore, he is not of my tribe. He's more sheeple, and it just didn't go very well. So then I found out he was fake with me from 
day one, basically. Uh, so that kind of didn't go very well. So you had that um, problem. So I got kicked out of a guild because I was not in the game to talk to, talk to the guild master who would not message me outside the game got kicked from that and then this other guy who was just we didn't write about all it was irritated uh, and then we have oh I'm gonna message you up until I, I get hurt and then I leave you for good or I'm going to message you but then I never will message you again unless you need me to so we have lots of different types of fake people I have met. And then you have me, was in my head being, oh, to be honest, I never know what to write, so I typically send photos instead, if I know you're into the photos that I would show, such as nature photos, skyscapes, fantasy photos, spirit memes, uh, but that is only if I know you're into that. If I don't know what you're interested in I, and you never approached me, chances are I will not try to approach you first. Back in the day, I had messages from lots of fakes back in the day, but that was because I left darkness, I moved into light, everyone stopped talking to me. I also found that this person was fake to me from day one, who said he was into spirit and let me teach you. Oh. Sorry, I'm not spiritual, and I don't want you to teach me. Makes me wonder. People wrote me, but when I wrote them back, they never write back. I wrote comments, but they did not heart or thumbs up my comment, and they never wrote back. Oh, so many fakes, indeed. Maybe this is why my current state I do not know how to approach people, I let them approach me first, for I feel I am bothering people. Or if you did write me, I just forgot to start sending you memes. Mm, it's kind of like a, a tooth thing, like one, I could, but I don't know if you're into it, so I don't message you back or... I just forgot because I stopped using Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or whatever and then when I do come back I forgot to write you more. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the second one. So chances are you did write me, we did have a conversation, but then when that conversation ended Neither of us wrote back to the other person, and then I would leave uh, Instagram for like months, then I would come back, then I would leave again, then I would come back. And then right now, I am on Instagram a lot right now, but in the future, I could vanish again. But that's only because no one was keeping me on that platform. Keyword. Keep me on platform, because if no one is, if I am not having a conversation on that platform, why use it? But at the same time, I was, I didn't know how to save photos from Instagram. But then I, I finally figured that out. Now I am sharing posts that I find from before I didn't know how to save therefore I was not showing anything because I no I'm just gonna go with 
I ran us from Instagram. Who knows why? Wasn't posting, wasn't doing anything. Probably lost the passion because no one was helping me to f keep the flame going. Therefore, I stopped everything. And then when a person did uh, ignite that flame again, I would come back until the flame vanishes again then I would leave until it would come back and then I would start posting again that is a that is a common theme that I I do so it's either the because the people are not writing to me or I don't know what to say so I don't write them or I completely stop using the platform or it's, I want my solo dude, leave me alone, no, no, I, too many fakes, hard to say what is going on, so I'm just gonna leave it with that. Continuing, if you did write me, I just forgot to start sending you memes, but that's on me for not knowing how to continue the conversation I suck at small talk, or is because I left the platform, came back, left again, came back, but I forgot who wrote me. What has happened before? And as time goes on, I forgot you even wrote me in the first place because neither of us is making any effort to say, I am here, you can talk to me. I am not going away, I won't fade from you, I want to be your buddy, etc. Again, continuing that conversation of whatever it is, uh, photos, small talk, game updates, if, you, if you're into the same game, uh, anime updates, sir. Uh, the, the list can be whatever. I did have this one person who kept tagging me, uh, spirit memes, but that was when I was on Facebook before I quit that platform. But they never really spoke to me. They just sent photo tags. This other person added me, but they never wrote me uh, at all. But I, I did add them because they were posting spirit memes and I liked what they were sharing, but we never really interacted with each other. But I, I got I get those people a lot on my accounts. Uh, hi, people. Um, yeah, let's just go with that one. Continuing. Sorry, but I had too many fakes in my life, so I can no longer tell from real versus flake versus a person who is shy to talk to me. Forgive me, I am being hard on myself. I should approach people more often than what I have been doing. Once again, that is on me. I have been alone for so long. I forgot I need to be the one reaching out and talking to people, not just waiting on people to reach out to me. Sorry about that, I will try to communicate better and try to forge the new friendships that I seek. Who vibe with me, please tell me this more often. I mean, I love to hear it. Who, do, who wouldn't like to hear that? Hey, I vibe with you. Like, come on. But then again, I am... Yeah, anime, so... Comparing myself to anime theme right now, but yeah. Eh. I think that... 
I no longer force things. What flows, flows. What crashes, crashes. I only have space and energy for things that are meant for me. And that's probably well, all this is stated from why it is there, why I don't communicate to people, why I feel I am only going to bother them, what I have done with people before, or I do try to talk to you, but you never respond back, or it was a one-off thing. Because I suck at small talk, never knowing what to say. I, I, yeah, I don't know. Um, <laughs> yep, yep, clueless on that one. Because of the content that I produce, I have lots to say, and yet, when it comes to people, what? It's like I have no idea what to say. And yet, when it comes to videos, it's like, it's always there. Always rolling. People, it's like, um, I don't know. Yeah, very weird on that one, but, uh, yeah. Much better flow on this video than the previous one, but it also goes back to that ending comment of feel me not just hear what I am thinking but know what I am feeling. You have to know what you're feeling to that other person, know what they are feeling, respond, but also know what they are. No, wait, that if I were to read your mind, I know what you're thinking I do not know what you are feeling. Therefore, reading your mind is going to make things worse because I hear your thought, but I have no idea what your heart is saying. Therefore, undertone. You have to know what a person is feeling and then respond to that rather than the words a person is saying, what they are thinking. And that came from what's in a cartoon. Until we meet again.